There's quite a few things that I want to address in this video. Uh oh, what have I done? I think we should tell the truth. Yeah, me too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what? another video on the channel i feel like this one has been long awaited is that the right terminology who's waited for it these people oh. that are watching i really wanted to do one of these videos at the beginning of 2024 but i just never got round to doing it so we're here we're in the middle of february and we are filming a catch-up style video basically towards the end of 2023 i didn't really upload too much so i feel like i've not really updated you guys on what's going on in life it's been a while since we've sat down and talked the so, Obviously, Lee's here because he just had to be here. We've got me. some food. We are in the car. It's just going to be a chill styled video. So, I do have some questions that I have gathered together. You <laughs> have a serious attitude problem. <laughs> oh, look at this. Mm. Is that as good as that pickle I made you on your burger? I love pickles. It's like I've completely forgot how to do these style videos because I don't know how you how to navigate myself. I do have some questions. I'm just gonna find them now. <gasps> Where did I put them? Oh. <laughs> I wrote them down on my notebook. I'm not. <laughs> I wrote them down on my notebook. When do you ever walk around with a notebook? What do you walk around with every day? Your phone? Why would you write them down on a piece of paper that you leave in your room 24-7? I don't know. I do remember them. Go on then, tell me the first one. One was... One. No! Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to share a little bit of information to you all about NCS. I'm going to start this section of the video off by talking a little bit about me and how starting my dream career of being a content creator has impacted my life for the better. Along the many years that I have been content creating, I have learned so much about myself. Being a content creator constantly forces me to step out of my comfort zone, which at the time may seem a little daunting, but the feeling afterwards is super rewarding. Sometimes attending big events can scare me so much but I have to say I've been to events like this in the past where I felt like this and I've made the best memories and met the most amazing people it's experiences like this that has helped my confidence so much it's helped me learn new skills meet new people and make lifelong memories this actually leads me on to why I did want to discuss NCS today as I feel like NCS can offer so much to young people they see so much potential in you guys if you are aged between 15 and 17 NCS is perfect for you if you're looking to to build your confidence, your independence, your life skills, then I definitely recommend researching NCS. You can go on their website and it will give you all the information you will need. NCS offer a range of different experiences in which you can grow your strengths and build new skills your own way. Now, the way that NCS works is you can sign up to visit one of the NCS experiences in which you will be away from home. There is also an option for you guys to stay close to home where you'll be volunteering and taking part in regular activities in your local area. Or if you guys prefer, you can actually experience NCS online from the comfort of your own home with live sessions or there will be content that you can consume at your own pace. NCS offer the right amount of support to take part in experiences that you thought you would never be able to do. So if this sounds like something that you guys would love to take part in there will be a link in the description you can head over to the NCS website to check it out. Familiarize yourself with the website and the experiences and sign up to experience NCS today. The first question was what are you hoping to achieve in 2024? How do people do mukbangs? What are you hoping to achieve in 2024? There's quite a few things that I want to address in this video. Uh oh, what have I done? I think we should tell the truth. Yeah, me too. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We're splitting up! <laughs> <gasps> There's quite a few things I want to address in this video, which is why I did want to do it on my own. Because you can't be serious. And this was going to be quite a serious and sombre video. What's your goals and what do you want to achieve this year in 2024? I want to make sure our relationship is and we're happy together. Elaborate. Um, spending more time together because we, we didn't do a lot of that last year because... We kind of got in an unhealthy habit. Yeah. 
Not in a, we we're gonna break up. No. But we just got so busy with life that we forgot about each other. No, we didn't forget about each other. We kind of just got into a, what's the word? A work routine. A routine where we just kind of keep going. I couldn't tell you apart, well, we've not really been on many dates together recently, have we? Yeah. When? Cinema. I, I class a Sunday as a little date day when oh. we go on a nice little dog walk together. Towards the end of last year. Oh, and I also, next goal to achieve for this year is I want to be the next. Hmm. What? Say what you were going to say and then I'll say what I was going to say. I want to be the next Logan Paul slash KSI slash Jake yeah. Paul slash. Mr. We literally watched the documentary yesterday and they even say on the documentary never try and be the next. Oh, I. You need to be yourself. What? You just want to be as big as them. No, you're not wording it very right. I'm not, am I? But you're just right coming across, head. you're coming across as, I want to be rich and famous. Ah. Uh, which isn't a bad goal to have. No, that's not the case though. But you don't, it's, that's not what you're trying to say. I want to be an entertainer and I want... No, you just want to have a wider audience. You just want to grow, you just want to grow. Grow. You grow. Yeah, you just want to grow. grow. Do you have any, any like mental goals? Oh, I am mental. Mm. I think I have more mental goals than physical goals. What do you mean by mental goals? One of my biggest goals this year is to like, switch up my perspective on life one of my main goals is to stop being so negative towards myself yeah and to be more confident with the way i look kind of be a bit less in my head about everything sometimes i say to you like i feel like you need to sometimes try and see things from different angles mm. because you're very like work orientated which is great it's so amazing and i love that about you but you also need to have that side of you that appreciates little things like like you just said like taking time for yourself taking time for us taking time for family yeah, but do you agree with me like that's a mental goal yeah i like yours though where you say you need to stop talking negative to yourself because i tell you that every single day mm. and you need to stop talking negative about things as well like when we're gonna do something and you're like oh well that's gonna be terrible and i'm like why is it it is if you say it's gonna be i definitely let myself down towards like the end of last year like i didn't upload as much i wasn't really as consistent on my socials but that's just because of like how i was feeling and that's not like me getting all deep and into how i was feeling because that's just personal to me but i really struggled with the way i looked like towards and not like there was nothing wrong with how i look and there's nothing wrong with how i look now but sometimes when i go to events or i'm filming or i'm filming featuring in someone else's youtube video i kind of concentrate so hard on the way that i look that i concentrate that hard on what i don't like about myself that it just kind of just makes me feel like i just end up being like i just want to stop what we're doing right now we'll go to an event won't we and i'll be like i hate like i'll literally catch myself off guard either in a photo or in a mirror or something and i'll be like i just need we need we need to go home now like i just it's like instant panic sets in i'm like we need to go home so that needs to stop this year so far it hasn't but it will no we've only been, we've only been to one place it didn't start like that it, you know what do you mean like and you tried to get through it like you felt a bit bad about yourself and i told you not to feel that way and mm -hmm. you tried to get through it and then we ended up leaving just because we needed to go to bed not because you Hmm. Myself. Yeah, but it was semi semi, wasn't it? It was like I still didn't feel great. That is something I'm gonna work on this year. Also, alongside that, I said that I really wanted to focus on body positivity on my socials, which I did, and a lot of people really appreciated that because I appreciate seeing it from other people as well. As much as I try to be body positive about myself, I am genuinely unhappy. I just, I don't, I'm not happy with how I feel in my body right now. So, my physical goal for this year is to be a bit healthier make healthier choices i don't want to stay unhappy with how i feel now but i also don't want to make myself like go to the opposite end of the scale and make myself so unhappy about like the foods that i'm eating and like depriving myself of the things that i enjoy so i'm gonna be somewhere in the middle i'm gonna make healthier choices for multiple different reasons feeling more energized feeling fresher feeling happier like it has an effect on like your brain and stuff doesn't it taking part in some kind of fitness because i want to feel good about the way i look and right now i don't and that's completely fine i don't know if any of that made sense but yeah basically that's the way that's my physical goal for this year but also i hate the gym don't i despise the gym yeah I have the worst time in the gym. I really wanted to be one of those girls that was like, I, when I go to the gym, because you see it all, all the time on social media, like, oh, I go to the gym, and when I come out of the gym, I just, um, and dolphins are running, and I'm I'm pumped, and I'm ready to, and I hate it. I hate the gym. It makes me feel ill. So, 
I have started swimming. Swimming. And English, I love it. You can't swim. And I love it. And I get that feeling. I do. I get the like when I come out of swimming, I feel really like fresh and energized. And it just proves that it doesn't have to be the gym. It could just be anything. It could be a walk, a stroll in the park. It could be a run. Could be swimming. Could be a class. I'm not just doing it for the outcome. I'm doing it for their mindset. I talked a lot then, didn't I? Yeah. Oh sure. yeah, it's yeah. falling off, isn't it? Sorry guys, you're literally on a completely different angle right now. I do want to talk about also my goals on social media. So I really enjoy it when you're scrolling and you see videos where people are just out and about their day-to-day -day life. They literally just put their phone on. I just want to be me. Like I want people to know me and have like a personal, what's the word? Like a friendship kind of. Like, you know what I mean? Like I want you guys to be relate to me, but I also really want to be someone that puts out good like, like i've just been saying about the body positivity like i really want to be a big advocate for that this year i really want to show you guys the normal side of life that's my goals with social media i would also love to grow my audience uh, that would be a plus but at the minute i just want to be more relatable more consistent let's talk about our goals as a relationship everyone was aiming for this question to kind of be like when are you having a baby when are you getting married when are you getting proposed to when are you doing this when are you doing that i don't really want to put a time stamp on that i don't want to be like by the end of this year i'd like a ring on my finger and a baby in my belly i do think it'll happen soon everyone always every, literally i get comments every time i've posted with either of my friends babies everyone's always like isn't it your turn no not yet <laughs> when we've not really dived into it in videos we've always said we'd be happy whenever it happens if it was to happen now we'd be happy wouldn't we? Mm. we this year us as a couple we really want to travel a bit more don't we we want to go on our first holiday where we it, i know that holiday. sounds really crazy to you guys because we have been so many places with each other but we've never been anywhere, just us two. We've been on holiday, haven't we? Because we've, we've been with like my family. But we've also, the rest of the times we've been away has been for work. We want to look on, let's for, say, for example, a holiday website where you pick where you want to go, what hotel you want to do, you buy it, and you go. Yeah, we've never we want to pay before. for it with our own money and not necessarily feel obliged to work while we're there. Not film we, it. We probably will like, do like little videos here and there um, and that's kind of our main goal for this year we've said i'm not interested in marriage right now like i feel so young to get married i just feel like i'm only 22 like i don't feel old enough to get married and if you are my age and you're getting married that's completely fine but it's me personally not something that i want to do right now in this point in part of my life sounds nice didn't it saying this is my fiance yeah do you have like a time frame that you'd like to do it no Sorry guys, uh, but as for baby, like. But it will happen. It will happen. <laughs> oh, I really wish I, there were some really good questions. I can't believe I wrote them in my notebook. I don't know. Let's do a relationship quiz. All right then. All right, oh. No, no. What? Because that's a completely different video. No, it is. Yes, it is. Come, in, oh, come on, me no, and you. It is. Me and you. Good it time. Is. Good time. What's well, something you want to change about me this year? Oh, actually, stop <laughs> being a messy piece of work. Stop nagging. Shut up. Be nicer to me. Um, a, a bit of respect to go far. Yeah. Please and thank yous. Simple manners. Have a wash once in a while. Not hard to ask for, is it? And I just say, all I have a wash a every day. No, I actually love you so much. I, I need to find my, I need to find my watch. That would be a place to start. Stop losing things I that do, I buy you I and find all... them. I want people to know that was a joke. They, they're fully aware that was a joke. Uh, I wouldn't change Ellie because I said to her the other day, I am never worried about Ellie because there's three potential places she'll ever be on this earth if I don't know where she is. Right? Imagine you've just said to me, "Where's Ellie?" I'll tell you. She's on the sofa having a nap. <laughs> She's at an Anans. Oh no, four places. She's gone out for a coffee. She's off seeing her mate's baby. I do want to be more productive this year, which which will make you worry because I'm going to be jet setting. I'm going to be everywhere. And where's Ellie today? Oh, she's in Bristol. She's she's. I hope not, cause it's a long drive. I love Bristol. I really want to go there. We've been. We went to the airport. No, we have never been to Bristol Airport. <laughs>